we are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the Philadelphia Phillies and the Washington Nationals. As October draws nearer, the race for the postseason intensifies. A pivotal game for two division rivals. Next. Steven Strasburg gets the call for game one of the series. Dan Plezak, what's the word on it? Hey, Matt, it'd be a little bit of a mixed bag with this guy. An ERA of over four in his last three starts. He's either been really good or really bad. And recently, he's been more bad than good. It'll be interesting to see if he can turn it around and pitch better in this one here today. And that'll bring up Gene Meet Segura. He'll get us started in this one the under the lights. Gene Segura. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Underway now on a Friday night as the first pitch of our series misses for ball one. So, guys, these Nationals, as they enter play here tonight, they've been playing some pretty good baseball of late as they've won six of their last eight games. Yeah, Matty, I'm looking forward to this one. They got their ace on the mound today. You get to the ballpark, you're ready to go. You're watching video. You know this guy is going to put his best foot forward, execute pitches to all quadrants. The opposition's got to be on point if they're going to have a chance today. Misses ball two. And our game time temperature this evening a nice 74 degrees. Eight. Change up. Ball to strike and he comes back even at two and two. Now the pitch. Shin high. That's taken for a ball. Full count. Here it comes. Fouled away. Another payoff pitch. High in the air out to center field. Robles is there and he has it for the first down. That accepted. The catcher. Zach Collins. Stepping up now, Zach Collins. Yes, he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Pitch on the way. That one bends into the zone. A strike on the breaking ball. Strasburg has made a name for himself as a starter that simply misses the barrel of the bat. He rarely allows a large number of hits, and he does a pretty good job of keeping the ball in the ballpark when the hitters do make contact. Oh, and one count, and the pitch. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Good fastball there. Didn't get the swing, but the guy at the plate isn't someone who chases many bad pitches. The 1-1. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. The 1-2 is taken for ball two. Don't be surprised if he gets another back foot slider right here. Don't think for a second just because he took the first one that this pitcher won't come back exactly the same way. Hit hard to the right, but foul. another 2-2 got him swinging chased it well out of the zone and there are two gone on the mound he's thinking grab some pine rook listen for almost the everyone field, the adjustment to hitting big league pitching right. is a big one Perfect. some guys have success when they first get called up but as soon as teams start figuring out how to get you out 
that's when the learning process really starts. And Bryce Harper will dig into the play. He's a look at a changeup that drops below the knees for ball one. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Ready with the 1 0. Oh, well, this is a spot you'd like to be in. 2 0, good hitter. He's going to turn it loose right here. Now, here it comes. Ball that that side. I'd be shocked if this wasn't a four pitch walk right here. He doesn't want to mess around and leave something over the heart of the plate and get beat in this situation. Three and one. Got to believe he had the green light in that situation. Two outs, 3-0 count. This guy can certainly handle the bat. That's a perfect situation to let him loose. But I love the fact that he's key holding a certain area, and it wasn't what he was looking for. And we'll have the first base runner of the ball game here as that misses, and it's a two-out walk. Looked like he might have gotten squeezed a little bit right there, and you know he's talking to himself in his head about it. That kind of stuff goes both ways, though. Hitters get their fair share of crummy calls going against them, too. And that'll bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. Power a big part of this game as he enters this contest, number five in the National League home run race. You know, D, we're aware into the summer right now. This guy's power's been off the charts. Looks like he's going to be able to do this all season long. I think he is, Dan, and the ball's going to start flying now. Weather's starting to warm up in certain parts of the country. We're getting into the middle, late part of summer. You're going to see some epic home runs down the stretch. Oh, and one the count. Harper, the runner at first with two gone. Hoskins behind the count 0 and 2. Strasburg with a check at first. Runner back standing. And he missed with it. It's 1 and 2. And set up behind the plate is Joe McDonald as you see the rest of our umpiring crew in this one. Hey, Joe McDonald, he's a tough guy to figure out sometimes, D-Row. One inning, he'll be given that inside corner. The next inning, he doesn't give much of that inside corner. His zone fluctuates a lot. You know, Dan, you can see some definite confusion on the face of some hitters today. Questioning in the strike zone. One pick. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. One left for Philadelphia. Now it'll be Washington's turn in a scoreless ball game. Martin Perez gets the ball for Philadelphia in this one. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, man, we're getting a look at a guy that's really been struggling lately. In his last three starts, he has a whip of over 1.50. Lots of base runners, lots of hits, and lots of walks, and that doesn't add up to very good performances. So he's going to look to turn things around in this one here today. Adam Eaton digging in next. And lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Adam Eaton. Now here it comes. In there for strike one, 0 oh and 1. These Phillies, as they enter play here tonight, fellas, they come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. All right, Matty, they show up for game one of this road trip. They have to find a way to play a little bit better baseball. Coming off a recent homestand where they were only able to squeak out three Whoa, wins, but at the end of the day, the way this team's been playing, three wins is a significant positive. So let's see how game one of this road trip treats them. One one. Ball two. Lifetime against Martin Perez. He hasn't had much success. Just two for eleven. Now the two one pitch. And he popped him up. Here comes Dickerson, but this will land untouched. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. 
It's full three and two. Well, that'll wake everyone up. Anytime you buzz the towel like that, there's reason for people to start getting a little bit edgy. Line towards center field. Withenshaw is right there, one down. Striding forward now, Starlin Castro. And he's swinging a pretty hot bat coming in. Hits in each of his last seven games. Here comes the first pitch. Ball one. Ball one, no strike. One out, nobody on. And he won't Outside. bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Oh. Line toward the alley in left center. And Castro's got himself a base hit. I think there's any justice in the game. Watch those two up bats. Both of them hit one. Absolutely. One's one right at one, guys. Hey. And then one's a single. Go for it. Turner digs in now as we run with the numbers to see the splits between July and August. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. He'll go to the back for one. It's dirty and gloves it. Throw back to second and they've got him doubled off and the inning is over. We played an inning. Still nothing, nothing. Now batting, Mark Withenshaw has it will be five, six, and seven due up to kick off the second inning. First pitch coming, here it is. Oh, up there. Withenshaw is really a rare talent in this sport a true five tool player as they say which means he can make an impact in a game at any time really a joy to watch not someone you want to take your eye off of yeah this guy's worth the price of the ticket just to watch his tool set but not only that the way he grinds at the plate the way he battles defensively this guy is one of the true superstars in our game. the guy back in the first and now he's looking like he might hand out another free pass to the leadoff guy here. You can't be walking a guy in inning and think you're going to have any success. Hey. Fastball taken but that gets the zone for a strike. You maybe get two pitches a game where all the guesswork goes out the window. This is certainly that situation. Facing a top of the line pitcher like this, he's going to be down around the knees like that more often than not. The key is punishing whatever mistakes he makes, but so far he hasn't made many. Full count here. Here comes the pitch. Swing and a miss, and they'll come all the way back from 3 0 to punch him out. One away. Boy, that's really disappointing for a guy that has wheels, right? All he wants to do is get on base and take advantage of the strength of his game, which is his speed. But with the strikeout right there, you can't get on first base if you strike out. Standing in now, Justin Turner. As he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. To come in here at 259. 21 homers, 57 runs batted in. Here's the 0 1 pitch. And it's fouled away. No score here as we play inning number two.
three. Oh, and a good curveball that time as it's taken for a call strike three. And there are two away. In the box now, Jose Peraza. As you check out his righty-lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right-handers. Now the pitch. And this is just off the outside corner for a ball 1-0. on the way two balls no strike hey you want to talk about being in the zone this guy's been raking lately and it all starts with his pitch selection two great takes and he's almost daring the pitcher just go ahead and challenge him swing better. late swing on the hitters count still a good count for him now however at two and one Here's the pitch. Swing just a little early, and he'll see another payoff pitch. Now a flare out toward right center. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. Well, that's what's so disappointing as a pitcher, d -Lo. You make a really good pitch, and yet this guy's so big and so strong, he's able to muscle it into right field for a base hit. Yeah, you hand your batting gloves to the first base coach right there, and you thank your lucky stars. That's a nice aim. To the plate now, Corey Dickerson. And he'll take a changeup here for strike one. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Set and the 0-1. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. With the way this guy's throwing on the mound, you cannot be chasing. You have to set your sights a little bit lower and control the strike zone. Two strike pitch from Strasburg. Changes up on him there, but it's one and two. Peraza is off first with two away. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at battle continues. Again, a one two. Well, next up, two and two. This ball is also hit foul and heading for the seat, so we'll have to do it again. Still two and two. And that will never threaten the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Round ball foul down the left side. One more time. And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. He did not want to let the hitter off the hook with two outs. And now he's got a runner in scoring position to deal with. At the plate, Martin Perez. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. 
first pitch of the at bat on its way. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 and 1. That was a pretty good fastball after he walked the hitter previous. There was a little angry on that heater. Two down runners at first and second. Up and in here as he had to bend out of danger. The 1-1. One, one. Boy, his pitch count is really spiked here in this inning. He's up to over 50 already. Stays alive, still two and two. Two and two, here it is. And a swing and a miss here. It took him 31 pitches, but the side is finally retired. Phillies leave a couple. We go to the bottom of the second, no score. And now for Washington, Victor Robles set to lead off the whole half of the second. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. He's ready. Here's the 1 0. Fastball. Close, but he didn't get it. Two and one. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. The two one. And this is sliced foul into the stands and right out of play. Here now the two two. It's laid off and the count runs full. Well, that sets up a big pitch right here, Matt, because you don't want to lose the leadoff guy in a scoreless game. It's tough to work around the leadoff walk. Fouled off. And he fouls this one off. Four foul balls in this A-B. Pitcher cannot find anywhere to go to put this guy away. High and deep to right center. On the move is Harper. He gets there and makes the play for the first down. That is it. The third base Number four. In now, number four. And he's a strong candidate for Rookie of the Year honors. If he can avoid a collapse here in the final months, it's been a great first campaign in the big leagues for him so far. And now pitch on the way. One of my favorite oh, pitches in the game right there, the old Greg Maddox equalizer. Started at the front hip and brings back. High in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Bottom of the second here with no score. That misses one and two. If I'm in the box, you take a step out right here. Take a deep breath after that high fastball. You've got to be leery of him burying something in the dirt. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. These last two guys are making him work quite a bit out there. Both have been long at bats, and all in all, he's had to make 13 throws just to them so far. Oh, 
that swung on and lifted down the left field line. Dickerson's there. And that's the second out of the inning. Batting six, the first baseman, Tyler Nevin. Riding in, Tyler Nevin. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Pitch on the way. And he holds up here, but the pitch is a cold strike anyway. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Hey, I love the aggressive nature this guy's pitching with. He's got focus, he's commanding the fastball. Really being aggressive right now. A lot different than his last start where he took a loss and seemed timid and scared to attack the zone. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with a two seamer and the inning is over. Three up, three down for Washington. We'll move to the third with no score. Top of the order now, and that'll bring in Gene Segura. First offering on its way, and this is lifted high in the air down the right field line, but this will land untouched. One, here's the pitch. Swinging strike, and now it's 0 2. Wow, what makes it so tough to be a hitter is to be able to hit it and change his speeds, right? You're geared up for the fastball, and all of a sudden, he pulls the string and throws you the straight change, the dreaded equalizer. Line towards center field, and that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So the Phillies get a man on to start out the inning. So now to the plate, Zach Collins has the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Now a move over to first. He'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. Segura gets his lead at first, nobody out. Round ball to third, and they could get two. Zips it to Castro for one. On to first, and they turn the double play. The right fielder, number three, Bryce Harper. Next to dig in will be Bryce Harper. No one on base for him after the double play. Yeah, and that, that two ball really changed the complexion of this inning. It looked like the middle of the order was going to have a chance to get a big hit with some ducks on the pond, but now they just have to try and get a two out rally started. First pitch coming, here it is. And he starts him out with a strike on the outer half. Third inning, no score to this point. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. And this one's up around the eyes, two and one. Pitch on the way. You rarely see a pitcher of this quality throw one right down the middle, and man, as a hitter, probably a good chance you're not going to see that pitch again. Uh, two two. Three ball, two strike.
fouled away. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. Pops this one up. Number four in foul ground. And no one will track it down. Another full count pitch home. Now he turns on a fastball and sends it deep down the right field line. And gone up into the second deck. Solo home run off the bat of Bryce Harper. Home run number 44 on the year. And the Phillies grab a one to nothing lead. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. You got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. The first base, number 17. Next to bat will be Reese Hoskins, as he'll send a ground ball down to third. Scooped up. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. But the Phillies strike first on this solo home run. We played two and a half. It's now one nothing Philadelphia. We're back now as the Nationals ready to bat in the third inning, and as they do, it's a good time to discuss their offense, which has been a real source of pride for this club. Entering the day, they rank among the best teams in the league in stolen bases. A lot of teams these days rely more on big swings at the bat to generate offense. But when I asked a member of the coaching staff about their approach on the bases, he told me they're simply playing into their strengths. He said they have a lot of really athletic guys, so it would be misguided to not be aggressive and force the other guys to prove they can stop them. Something to keep an eye on is this one. Looks good. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Matt Williamson is in to start things off here as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. He's in complete command of his two-seamer right now. It's got great movement, great depth, running all over the place. This offense is going to have a tough time. One and one to count now. Catch the corner away with the fastball. It's two and one. All even now, two and two. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. Three and two. Sean Murphy, the number eight hitter here, waits on deck. Line to the right side. And that is through into right field for a single. Set to get his evening at the plate started. Sean Murphy. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year. Looking to get things turned around in a hurry. Decision there to pull back. 
step number one in getting a sacrifice bunt down, make sure you bunt a pitch that you can handle. Now the one and one pitch. And he pops up the bunt attempt. Perrin is there and he makes the catch for the out. The right fielder, number two. In now with that meeting as he'll look to bring home that time run from second with a base hit into the outfield. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. With some traffic on the base pass, nice job by the pitcher to execute strike one. He said, here's the 0-1. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Dickerson's there, and he makes the catch for the second out. Now at the plate, Starlin Castro, a base hit in his first trip. Yeah, they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield, he's going to wave them. Bounce it to the left side. Segura fields it cleanly. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Nats leave a pair. They trail this one one to nothing. And back in our nation's capital, before we get too much further on the field, let's check in with Heidi. Matt, I talked with Philadelphia's manager during the break about the Phillies' offensive production to this point. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. Yes, they've only scored one run, but he said they've done a great job of forcing the pitch count up, and he thinks that's going to lead to more offense for them as this game goes on. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Stepping in, Mark Withenshaw. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something to save him. Up and away to start the inning. It's 1-0. Oh. Pitch on the way. He pulled the string and had him way out in front. A ball and a strike. the one and one pitch misses for the second ball the two one home it's taken ball three teams been struggling on offense let your D work for you right here pound the zone the three and one pitch Borderline pitch right there, but as a low ball hitter, you can live with that as long as the umpire doesn't give him north as well. A little roller toward the hole. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. Now batting the third baseman, Justin Turner. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring up the third baseman, Justin Turner. First pitch coming. Here it is. 1-0. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. Off-speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. The 2-0 on the way. Ball on that now. Both clubs with three hits in the ball game. And, oh, he thought that was ball four, but it's called a strike. Three and one now. Oh. 
There's ball That's four. Right. Ball four. And with the bases empty and three balls, I think they were probably now just saying, hey, we're not going to compound our mistakes here. Better issue a free pass and give him something to drive. So a runner at first with one man gone. And taking into bat next, it'll be Jose Peraza. He's set. Here it comes. Ball at the side. Turner, base runner at first with one out. Fastball got him to swing through it. It's one and one. Skied into straightaway right. Ethan is under it. He's got it, and there are two down now. Now that left fielder, Corey Dickerson. At the plate, Corey Dickerson drew a base on balls his first time up. Has a look, now the pitch. And yep, he takes ball, ball one. One run on three hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. That misses 2 and 0. As a look, now the pitch. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. And the 2 1. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. After it is eaten. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Philly strand one, but they lead it one to nothing. Here now is Trey Turner, set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. Ready to deliver, here's the first pitch in the air out to straightaway left. Dickerson will wait on it and very quickly one gone. Center fielder, number So the base is empty here with one away and that'll bring up the outfielder Victor Robles. First offering on its way. Now a curveball that misses here to the cleanup man. It's 1 0. 2 0 to the national center fielder. Non competitive pitch right there runs the count to 2 0, and he is ready to do some damage in the box. Here it comes. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Long run for the center fielder. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Now batting. Number four. Stepping into the box. Number four comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. First delivery to him on the way. Oh, that starts him out with a fastball too low for ball one. Base hit, line drive into the corner. Throw into second. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. No runs on a hit, no errors, and no one left. We played four full. It's the Phillies one, and the Nationals nothing. Into the box, Martin Perez. And Strasburg will get ahead of him here with strike one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And 
and that's inside Edmonton. off the plate with the fastball. It's one and one. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Now the one and one pitch is laid off for ball two. on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. Pitch taken several inches below the zone in fact. What a great battle to start this inning. What a great job by the leadoff hitter. He knows that this pitcher's starting to get up there in pitches. The manager's starting to get restless. Let's see if we can knock him out and get into that bullpen. Now a line drive that's going to be caught out there and short. Right place, right time, and the leadoff man's gone to the start the fifth. Number two, shortstop, Gene Segura. Ready now, Gene Segura. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Stretch, here's the pitch. Nope, ball one. Count one and over. The 1 0. Swing and a liner. Foul. Bases are empty, one man in. Yeah, oh, sorry, the corner cool. there, but missed two and one. Tries to bunt his way on here, but this is a foul ball. Down the left field line and deep. And that will end up a foul ball. Uh, two, two, one more time. Three, two. Keep in mind, people, the longer the at bat, the higher the likelihood that this becomes his last inning. Two pins. Count remains full. You know, taking you inside the mind of a batter right here, you can't get in auto swing mode. You still have to control the strike zone. Once again, a 3 2. He loses no, him on four. ball four. Now batting. Pepper. Zach Collins. Digging in, Zach Collins. Here comes the first pitch. That's a ball. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. Segura stands at first with one out. Steel, steel, steel. Segura runs in there. Now the throw. Skips in and he's safe. Close play, but he's in there. and a miss on the pitch outside. One and two now. Two balls and two, two strikes to the two Phillies strikes. catcher. One run on three hits and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. 
hot shot to third. In time to first, and there are two away. The right field of the three. Bright. Harper. Stepping up to the plate, Bryce Harper is coming off a solo homer in his previous trip. And that's been the entire offense so far in this one. They've been shut down other than that. This one run game, the pitch. Harper, once a member of the club, he matches up against in this one. He was signed as a free agent in the middle of last season. Yeah, Matty, you mentioned he's playing his former club, and that can get tricky sometimes. I don't know if he's going to dinner with these guys after the game, or he showed up here with an axe to grind. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Those were two great executed pitches right there away from this batter. He can hurt you in a heartbeat. I don't think anything's going to leak out over the heart of the plate. A 2 1 pitch. Ball, that's that. This is where you cash your checks right here. 3-1, you're one of the best hitters in the game. You live for situations like this. And this will be fouled away. Payoff pitch on its way. And a changeup. Couldn't get him to bite, and it's ball four. So that's the second walk he's worked in this one. Yeah, that seems to be a popular approach when this guy steps in. He can really hurt you with one swing, so I think the idea is mostly not to let this one guy beat you, Matt. Robbie Irvin runs in from the bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two away. Robbie. be a foul ball and it's still 0-2. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball and the hitter just fouls that one. 0-2 oh, pitches a curveball that misses one and two. Here comes the one and two. And it's two balls and two strikes now. This is a huge pitch right here. I don't think he wants to go 3-2 and have those runners be in motion. Look for him to be aggressive with what he thinks is his best pitch right now. The 2-2 pitch. And it's fouled away. Set the 2 2. And this one's in the dirt. Runners will hold tight, but it's a full count now. Three and two. Hit the other way out toward right field. Eaton is under it. He may 
makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Phillies leave a couple, but they're on top one to nothing. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Nationals manager Dave Martinez between innings, specifically about his club's offense to this point. And flat out, he told me they just need to put better swings on the ball right now. He said they're searching for ways to drive the ball with some authority because it's just not happening for them today. They haven't gotten an extra base hit yet, so it's been a real struggle getting guys into scoring position. But the key, he said, is not to panic. Sometimes you just have to fight for the downturns and keep your focus and energy up. Okay, thank you, Heidi. The first baseman, Tyler Never. First offering on its way. Squared that one up just a little late. Wind up and the 0-1. to the ball one and two I love a well executed change up especially one down in the zone the only problem thrown in that situation you leave that belt high you miss your spot just a hair and you could have some problems here's another one two fastball got him looking as that had two seam action on it one gone Pretty clear he didn't like the call there on the outside part of the plate, but probably too good to take. And he's down on strikes for the second time. Yeah, that pitch was right on the black. Beautiful pitch. And even if we had robot arms, he'd still be out. But the only difference would be he wouldn't be able to complain about it. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Williamson, a native Floridian. He was selected in the third round during the first year player draft of 2012. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on a superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. And he pops him up here on 0-2 as this is drifting toward the right side of the infield. Ready for another chance? Sean Murphy. He singled his last time. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this, only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. The pressure's off now. Maybe he gets up. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Oh. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. Ball two now. Clearly working the bottom of the zone. Trying to get a ground ball for a double play. Williamson, the runner at first with one gun in the inning. I think he would have liked the green light there. It's two and one. He's gotten a favorable call or two at the plate in this at bat, so that take on two and oh is probably a result of feeling like the umpires got a pretty tight zone. Didn't go his way that time, though. And even 2-2 count for the Nationals catcher. Good thing he didn't make contact with that pitch. Only thing he could do is probably get that on the ground. It could be a double play ball. Outside and a full count, three and two. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at. And if not, it's ball four anyways. And the payoff pitch. High and deep down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. Too high. And that cost him ball four. Well, they struggled offensively this one so far. But after that walk, they got runners at first and second and look ready to make a little noise. Just need a big hit now. Juan Soto will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 22. Wow. 
right taken as the curveball drops into the bottom part of the zone. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Circle change and a beauty. It's 0 and 2. First and second now. One man out. And here's a fastball on 0-2, but it misses 1-2 and two now. Stone cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. And a half-hearted attempt that time, but they'll say he broke the plane, and that's out number two. For me, check swings from right there next to Bing Bang plays at first. as the most difficult call for him to make. Taking a look at show motion, the batter doesn't appear to hold up enough, so I think the call was right. Trying to hold the lead, here's the delivery. Adam Eaton is in for a third plate appearance as he watches one miss inside. It's 1-0. 1-0, here it is. This one's outside, quite a bit off the plate that time. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. Right at the third baseman, and that'll end the inning. Nats leave a pair. They still trail 1-0. Daniel Hudson takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 47, Daniel Another shot now for Hart with a shot. He got on top of one and was ground out victim last time. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. Hey. Favorable call in there for a strike. One pitch. Swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Might have to change your game plan in the box right here. If he's going to pound away, might have to work the opposite field. Here's the 0 and 2. One ball, two strikes, count. Lays off it to even the count two and two. Flip a coin right here with this next pitch. After throwing two fastballs to get ahead, he's been able to lay off both those off speed pitches. Looked like he's seeing it pretty good. Uh, two two. Count of three and two. Wow, from 0 and two to three and two in that last pitch on two and two wasn't even close. He had this guy in the ropes, but now he let him right back into this at bat. Now here's a fly ball. Well hit. Eaton going back to the track to the wall. Gone into the home bullpen for a home run. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Home run number nine on the year as the Phillies have taken a two to nothing lead. As a hitter, that feels so good. The previous pitch ran in on him, trying to get him off the plate, but the next pitch, he mashes it out of here. Goes to show you can intimidate him. Now back. Third base. Not 
Justin Turner. At the plate, Justin Turner. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. It was a walk in his last trip. Now a fastball off the plate away, a ball and a strike. Base is empty here with nobody out. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. And handled for the first down. The batter of the down. Second base. Jose Durant. One out for the Phils in their half of the sixth. And digging into bat next, it'll be Jose Peraza. First pitch of the at bat. Strike taken up in the zone. Is put in play to the right side of the infield, reined in, and there's out number two. Now back, left field, Corey Dickerson. Coming to the plate now, Corey Dickerson. He flew out in his last at bat. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hit down the line at first. Bases are empty here with two men out. One and one. Really pulled that one across as the slider misses well inside. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off speed pitch, wanted to stay back a little bit too long. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. The Phillies get one in the frame, courtesy of this solo home run. Bottom of the sixth is straight ahead. It's now 2-0 Philly. Here's Starlin Castro, and then he and his fellow top of the order hitters haven't really offered much help for this lineup so far. No, your one, two, three guys are what you look to to generate a lot of action. They just haven't been up to the task so far this one. Still time for them to turn it around, though. We'll see if it happens. First pitch on its way. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0-1. Hey, if you're able to blow a first pitch fastball by a guy, got to believe that pitch is coming again right here. Heading out towards shallow right. Harper is in a few steps as he takes it for the first down. Digging in now, Trey Turner over two on his line thus far. First offering on its way. Sharp ground ball to third. Oh, he can't pick it up cleanly. Throw gets yeah. him two down. Center fielder, number 16, Victor Rodwell. 
Victor Robles digging in now. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Here comes the first pitch. Oh, it's back. The 1 0. He's taken strike one. Two out, nobody on. This one runs a little too far in, ball two. Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. deep down the left field line and that is off the wall but in foul territory foul ball the next three two sharp ground ball toward the hole and there's his first base hit in this one yeah he's got the outs when he's needed him. he seems to be really comfortable yeah. pitching from the stretch oh. hard to keep that up over several innings though Now, number three, as the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. One for two in the ball game thus far. <laughs> Tying run at the plate, the 0 1. Rounded up the first baseline, but this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. Hey, last two pitches back to back, off speed, then he's laid on the fastball. He can pretty much do anything he wants right here on the mound. One ball. Mowing away two with that one, it's one and two. Hey, that 0 2 fastball wasn't even close, but I'm hit right now. I'm still sitting on that heater. Line drive, base hit into the left center field gap. Hey, after back-to-back two-out hits right now, this pitcher thought he was going to cruise through this inning, and now he's got traffic, and he's in jeopardy with a ball in the gap or a ball missed over the heart of the plate, a crooked number going on. To the plate now, Tyler Nevin. Into center field, line drive goes in. Scores from second, and they inch a little bit closer. Now a two-to-one ball game. But I can't blame the pitcher oh, coach for making that block. That's three consecutive two-out hits here, so he's going to remind this guy that they just need to make one good pitch and get this inning over with. Let's see if the talk does any good. Mac Williamson hits next. And so takes strike one on the inside corner. Two hits in two trips more than thus far. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. And that's going to land foul. Two men are on with two men out. Ball one as he lays off below the zone. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Ready with the one-two. Check swing and he went around, says the home plate umpire. Pretty forceful about it, too. And the inning is over. So it's a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. Seventh inning coming up. 
The Phillies lead it 2-1. to one. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Ryan Harper will come on now and he'll slide into the seventh spot in the lineup following the double switch. Jeremy De La Rosa will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Omar Narvaez is up off the bench as he'll pinch hit here to start inning number seven. Strike one to start the at bat. We'll check in with an average still south of 230. Five homers and 22 RBIs. It's taken. Now it's 0 and 2. That pitch looked like it could have been a little high, but he's been calling that pitch all night. Kind of rough for a pinch hitter, but I'm sure his teammates let him know that's where the zone has been. Here's the 0 and 2. And he now, wastes a fastball high there, 1 and 2. Pretty standard fastball right there, 0 and 2. Now he's changed the eye level of the batter so he can start working something in like an off speed curveball down in the zone. Down the first baseline. Couldn't get on top of it as this has popped up behind shortstop. And the move to the pinch hitter will not pan out as that's taken in for the first down. Now batting. Shortstop. Gene Segura. Into the box now. Gene Segura. A hit in two tries so far. From the stretch. Hit weakly back to the mound. Throw in time at first for route number two. Now back. Yeah. Call it. Standing in, Zach Collins. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Nope. That's ball one. Ball. We're in the seventh inning now. The pitchers duel two to one our score. Ah. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. Now the one and one pitch. It's a curveball that gets him out in front for a strike. Two. It's looked at off the plate for a ball. Well, all of the umpires in the seats thought that would strike three, and they weren't far off, but I think that was a good call. Looked to be just a bit outside. Two out, nobody on. And here's a curveball that's laid off that time. It's full three and two. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters. So you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. 3 2 pitch. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. 3 and 2.
Payoff pitch one more time. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. You don't get too many pitches a day in the big the league's league. middle cut. His eyes lit right. up right there. This pitcher's lucky okay. he's not getting another ball from the umpire. Bryce Harper striding again, and before he takes his cuts here, let's flash you back to the third inning. This was just a solo shot, but it definitely helped get this offense going. Set and the pitch. Hey, a changeup can be a pretty good pitch on the first pitch. Kind of slow down a good fastball hitter. Now a fastball that's taken close that time, but it's one and one. Swings and hits it very well to right. Looking up is Eaton. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. A two run home run here for Bryce Harper. His second home run of the game. And the Phillies have opened it up now. It's four to one. Second home run of the game right there. He is locked in at the plate. You hear so many of today's players talk about rhythm and timing. Well, he is perfectly on time in the heart of the zone. The first base of the 17th, Reese Hoskins. Standing in now, Reese Hoskins takes this the other way to right. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And he will pull into second with a two out double. That was a great job of driving that ball. Extending his arms very well was able to get it over the right fielder's head. One hopping it off the wall for an easy double. That's one of those solid hits that you don't even feel coming off the bat. Mark Withenshaw. Stand in yet again as we flash it back to the middle inning. This was a turning point here. A solo home run that was really one of the key at bats of the ball game to this It looks like they'd rather go after the next guy as the intentional walk signal comes here with two away. Well, they felt it was better to take the bat out of the hands of a guy like that. He's just too dangerous, and they decided they'll take their chances with the next guy in the lineup. Wonder Suero will get the ball here as he looks to get the final out in the top of the seven. series they've already had to go deep into their bullpen this could affect them for the rest of the weekend if they don't get really good starting pitching now the 1-0 he's looked at for the first strike now the Nats are going to get a left hander up and throwing in the bullpen This is a big pitch right here. Can't allow them to attack on any more runs. Let's see if he attacks his own or buries something in the dirt. Hoskins over at second. Withenshaw on at 
first with two down. Ball to two, two balls and two strikes now. The good curveball as he set down on strikes for the second time here tonight. But the fighting strike for a pair, both coming on this two run home run. Bottom of the seventh inning coming up. Get up and stretch. It's now four to one, Philadelphia. Mike Morin gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Leading off the inning, Sean Murphy, and they'll need him to get something going here. First offering on its way. A bouncer to the left side. And the throw to first is in time, one gun. Fielder number one, Jeremy Delarosa. Stepping into the box, Jeremy Delarosa. He's newly entered into the ball game, so this will be his first trip to the plate here in inning number seven. Now here's the pitch. Didn't quite catch the zone there. Ball one. Morin was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right-hander. The 1-0. -oh. Fastball taken high for a ball. Tight with that one. Three and oh. Adam Eaton is on deck. He'll hit next. Three and oh count. Here it comes. Aye. That one's in there. Three and one. count all the way here it comes ball and he takes ball Perfect. four so a good job out of the nine hole and getting on base as we go back to the top of the order so a runner at first now with one away and next to bat with speedy Adam Eaton comes set here's the nothing and nothing pitch left side but well fouled We're in the seventh now. Four to one, our score to this point. Weak grounder down the line at third. And this is going to work out for him. It's an infield single to make it first and second now. Yeah, that's great hustle right there out of the box. Not everybody's getting it right at the shooter of step one, but I have to add it is, you know, you can read that right off the bat as a pitcher. You can read the angle. You know that that ball is going to be hit on the ground. And you're thinking deep down inside, okay, there's a quick out. It just wasn't meant to be. He's ready. Here's the first offering. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Withenshaw is there now, and he has it to gone. Now with the play, Trey Turner. Dan Dan, this could be a real make-or-break situation at this point in the game. 
Yeah, man, at least scoring one run in this inning is so important to them to possibly get back into this thing. Baseball doesn't have a clock, but you only have 27 outs to work with. They're running out of those pretty quick. He's set. Here it comes. And who? Looks like he got the call there on the pitch inside. It's nothing in one. Boy, the Nationals could use a big hit right here. They really haven't been able to do much all game long. This would be a great time to get something going. And he lays off for ball one. Hit on the ground to third. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. That's leave a pair. And this is still a 4-1 ball game. Ready to begin the eighth, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Jose Peraza. Jose Peraza. Here's the first pitch to him. Oh, that's it. Now the 1-0. -oh. It's a hey. heater in there for a strike. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Manny V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-World, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. Bouncer to the left side. Turner loves it. Off-balance throw, but he couldn't get enough on it, so it'll be scored as an infield single. Now that I know that has to be frustrating from a pitcher's standpoint. But nice execution, nice hustle. Bottom line, nice hustle. Pitcher's still one good pitch away from getting a double play. You know, D-Row, one of the things you want to do is make quality pitches as a pitcher. And there's not much you can do right there. You make a pretty good pitch, and the next thing you know, you have a leadoff single on an infield ground ball. In now, Corey Dickerson. As he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Here's a swing and a miss, one and one. Fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. Suero, a native of the Dominican Republic, he's in his third season as a major league player. Fastball called strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Jake Bruce will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 23, Jake Bruce. And he lays off there, 1-0. Kicks and deals. Line down the left field line. But this will be foul. And this one misses yeah, to Bruce as he moves out in front. It's two and one. Clearly trying to control the running game with the slide step here. Yeah, that's a good way of trying to control the running game, Matt. The problem with it, though, it has a tendency to throw your command off because you're worrying about that runner on base. Gene Segura will be next. The 
one. Hey. I think it's a real possibility that they put that run on first in motion. That would help them stay out of that double play that would end the inning, but that's also kind of risky at the same time. Peraza, base runner at first with one out. And there's a swing and a miss by Bruce as he set down on strikes two away. That's back to back strikeouts now as they've been unable to advance that leadoff single into scoring position. Yeah, there are no problems working on the stretch right now, Matt. He's taking control of this inning after giving up that hit. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. Gene Segura standing in. Pitch out. No one, no Nothing fight. doing. He takes to start out this at bat. None of those pitches were even close to the strike zone. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And this hops over the wall out there for a ground rule double and maybe a tough break as that will freeze the runner at third with two gone. Definitely a break right there for the defense with the ground rule double. If that ball stays in play, there's a pretty good chance the runner from first is able to score since he's moving on contact with two outs. Instead, he's forced to stay at third, so we'll see if they're able to strand him there. Into the box, Zach Collins. Now a curveball knocked down at home plate. No movement on base, it's ball one. Both teams have nine hits on the scoreboard. Into the corner and slicing foul. And he lays off the pitch down and away. Ball two. Now at two and two. Two and two. Here it is. Now he goes the other way, and he got a lot of it high and deep to left center field. And that is off the wall. He pulls into second safely. They also score a pair of runs on the play. Wow, what a great piece of hitting here as he took a big swing at that one. Almost got it out of here for a three-run blast, but he'll be happy with a two-run double as well. Yeah, he's not happy either way, but I'm sure the man on the mound is more than a bit relieved that that hit didn't turn into something worse. Here's Bryce Harper now. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Two home runs already to his name in this one, and we'll see if he could possibly strike again. Now the 1 0. Shot on the ground is short. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. Phillies lead this one six to one. With Morgan Rodriguez is on now out of the bullpen as he'll make his 70th appearance so far this year. Morgan. Rodriguez. So here's the cleanup here. Richard Robles will try and do what he can to work toward cutting into this big deficit. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. 
down by a bundle. It's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. One and oh, the count. And he fouls this one off. Two balls and a strike. And this is sent on the ground out to Segura at short. And a low throw to first that bounces as he can't hang on. And that's what speed does for you. He made the play, but in the back of his mind, he knew he was dealing with the speedster, so he rushed the throw, and he had more time than he thought, too. So striding in, number four. Two hits and three at-bats for him in this one. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. There to make the catch is Hoskins, and that's the first out of the inning. The first baseman, number 17, Tyler Nevin. Now with the plate, Tyler Nevin. He came through with an RBI single in his last at bat. First pitch on its way. Swung on and missed that time. It's 0-1. That's exactly the pitch you don't want to be chasing in these situations. He's going to keep that ball down below the hollow of the knee, try and get you to ground into a double play. You have to set your sights at least belt high. 0-1, here's the pitch. Cutter low, 1-1. One and one. Look now the pitch. Ball inside. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. It's been a rough game for him at the plate. Couldn't get the bat off his shoulder right there, and he struck out twice before that one. So he's going to have a lot to think about when he leaves the ballpark tonight. Garcia will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 66, Luis Garcia. There's a fastball well off the plate inside. The number's coming in. He's at 255. Three homers, 26 RBIs. The 1-0. -oh. It's a fastball that misses. Boy, you don't see that very often out of a rookie. That's a 2-0 count, and both of those pitches were really close. This guy has a pretty good eye. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. And Segura will make the catch, and that ends the inning. So no runs on no hits. One error in the inning, but a man left stranded. Ninth inning coming up. Phillies on top, 6-1. to one. Sean Doolittle enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Reese Hoskins. His career line with Doolittle, he's 0 for 8. Number 17, Reese Hoskins. First pitch. 
first pitch of the at bat on its way. Doolittle, a rare South Dakota born ball player. He's a nine year Major League vet. Looked like he tried to pull it there, but he swings right through the fastball. Man, it's a pitcher you have to love pitching 0-2. Multiple ways, up, down, in and out, throw the breaking ball, a lot of different ways to get guys out. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and there's the first out here in the ninth. Hey, I'm not sure what he was sitting on right there. The Might have been sitting on an off-speed pitch, but instead he gets the fastball way late. Had no chance to put that ball in play. At the plate, Mark Withenshaw. As he'll take a look at ball one. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Ball and a strike. Action now in the Washington bullpen as a right-hander begins to get loose. Fouled away. One two is put in play to the right side of the infield. He's got to hurry, and that's the second out. So next to the plate for the Bills, Justin Turner, over three with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ball game. Pitch on the way. Hit hard on the ground to second. A dive and he knocks it down. And the recovery will not be in time at first, and the inning will continue following the infield single. So he waited till the ninth inning, but he comes through here to extend the hit streak. That was close. Yeah, Matty B, you see that wry smile of him coming out of the box right there. He knew what was on the line. He'd be lying if he didn't. There's a lot of pressure on you because you're walking into that batter's box thinking, I have a nice streak going, and this is more than likely going to be my last A.B. He comes through in the clutch. It's been a two-for-four effort for him so far in the ballgame. Ready with the 0-1. Now a swing, and he pops him up. This is right out in front of the mound. Number four. Put this one away, and the side is retired. One left for Philadelphia. They hold on to their six to one lead. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Hector Neris will come on now and he'll slide into the seventh spot in the lineup following the double switch. Scott Kingery is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot, hitting ninth now on the double switch. All set for the bottom of the ninth. And now it will be the catcher, Sean Murphy. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he throws the fastball oh, by him here, 0 oh, 1. Now, some action in the Phillies' bullpen as a right hander begins to crank it up out there. Good hard slider there, but it runs away. It's a ball and a strike. strike and he's behind one and two. 
that's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. The one two. and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. Well, we'll see a lot of these power arms coming out of the bullpen in these days, but it doesn't make it any less impressive to me. I love watching guys come in and blow smoke right by guys. At the plate now, Jeremy De La Rosa, high in the air out to center field. Withenshaw is there and quickly two are gone here and it's not looking good for the home nine. So the Nats lineup turns over and to the plate Adam Eaton. His career numbers against Hector Neris. He's got two hits in 21 at bats. He's taken him deep once. Here comes the first pitch. Ball one. A ball and no strikes. No Neris strike. has over 40 innings on his line so far and sports a respectable ERA just under 3.50. Eight. A one and one count to the Nationals leadoff batter. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed and now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. Last strike now for the Nats. Swing and a hard liner to center field. And that's a base hit. He's now two for five in this one. Hey Dan, obviously good game plan by the offensive team. Bunch of knocks, but they can't seem to get any runs going. You're always trying to minimize the damage. Lots of traffic. So far, very little to show for. You wonder how much longer he can keep this up. So here's Starling Castro. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1-0. and He comes into this appearance in the midst of a 1-for-4 day. One and zero pitch on the way, and he won't bite at that point either. It's two and zero. From the stretch, there's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Dickerson going back, and that one is.
Robertson pauses. Here it is on 1 and 0. Hit down the line at first. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. Two and one to count to Trey Turner. I got two one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Ball even at two and two. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Rip down the first base line. The 2 2. Popped up. Collins is there. Makes the catch, and that's the ball game. Yeah, that's what you want to do when you're playing on the road. Take it right to the home squad and get a win. Now the pressure's off. If they get one of the next two, the series is theirs. And tonight's comes to an end. 6-3 to three, the final. Philadelphia led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Martin Perez earns his eighth victory of the season. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersion. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show.